The 360-degree camera landscape in 2025 is entering one of its most transformative phases in years, and two of the most highly anticipated contenders, GoPro Max 2 and DJI Osmo 360, are poised to shape its future. GoPro, a pioneer in the action cam space, is attempting a bold comeback after a prolonged absence from the 360 arena. Meanwhile, DJI, a dominant force in drones and gimbals, is preparing to enter the 360 market for the first time with impressive momentum. The stakes are high. GoPro wants to reclaim the crown it once wore proudly, while DJI seeks to disrupt the hierarchy by delivering innovation paired with its ecosystem of creator tools. But which of these two cameras is more likely to emerge as the new king of immersive video? Let's dig deep and find out. When it comes to imaging, both the GoPro Max 2 and DJI Osmo 360 are rumored to deliver serious upgrades, signaling a generational leap over previous standards. For GoPro, this is a necessity rather than a luxury. The original Max, released in 2019, captured 5.3K 360 video using two 1.5.3-inch sensors, a specification that's now outdated in a market where 8K is becoming the benchmark. Rumors suggest the Max 2 will likely leap to 8K at 30 frames per second, potentially matching the 5.7K at 60 frames per second capability found in the Insta360 X5 and reportedly mirrored by DJI's Osmo 360. DJI's Osmo 360, based on credible leaks, will feature dual 1.28-inch sensors, a significant bump in size and light gathering ability. These sensors are expected to capture rich detail, particularly in low light, where most 360 cameras have historically struggled. Larger sensors also translate into better dynamic range, more depth in highlights and shadows, and an overall cleaner image, especially when paired with DJI's rumored HDR recording and a flat log color profile. The latter will appeal to professional users who prefer post-production flexibility. If these specs hold true, DJI may edge ahead in pure image quality, especially in challenging environments like nighttime cityscapes or dimly lit interiors. The design philosophies of both cameras reflect their origins. GoPro Max 2 leans into durability and evolution rather than radical redesign. It retains the GoPro DNA while centralizing its dual-lens layout for improved optical alignment. Early teaser images also show a heatsink on the body, similar to the Hero 13 Black, indicating an emphasis on managing thermal performance during long 8K sessions. Venting around the body and symmetrical lens placement suggest a focus on both function and post-production efficiency. DJI's Osmo 360, by contrast, presents a fresh yet familiar design, clearly inspired by the successful Insta360 X5, with a sleek matte gray finish and a rounded compact body. Its bulbous lenses protrude from opposite sides, while a wide aspect touchscreen and minimal physical buttons suggest a streamlined user interface. This attention to ergonomics and usability reflects DJI's broader design ethos seen across its product ecosystem. While both cameras are portable and rugged enough for action use, DJI may win favor among creators who prioritize sleek aesthetics and simplicity. GoPro has long been synonymous with superior stabilization, and the Max 2 is likely to introduce a new version of its HyperSmooth tech, possibly version 6.0. HyperSmooth has consistently set industry standards, and a next-gen version tailored for 360 content could incorporate advanced horizon locking and real-time horizon leveling. This would be a major step forward, making post-editing easier and motion-intensive footage smoother without the need for external gimbals. On the other side, DJI will almost certainly bring its rock-steady stabilization to the Osmo 360, refined specifically for 360 workflows. 
DJI has also reportedly built in real-time stitching and gyro-assisted stabilization, offering a comparable level of performance. But where DJI could shine brightest is in intelligent features. Object tracking, AI reframing, and scene recognition, powered through its software. DJI's existing MIMO app already provides solid control for Osmo devices, and while it remains unclear whether a new app will debut with the Osmo 360, it's likely that DJI will deliver a polished mobile editing and sharing experience. GoPro's Quick app has also matured over the years, with solid auto-editing, reframing, and export tools, but DJI may hold the edge if it introduces a more tightly integrated app experience. The difference here could come down to user preference. Those deeply embedded in either ecosystem may gravitate toward the platform they're already using. In a world where resolution is just one part of the story, pricing plays a critical role. DJI has yet to confirm pricing for the Osmo 360, but if it closely rivals the Insta360X5, it could land near the 549 to 599 mark. That's the premium tier, especially considering the camera's dual 1.2 8-inch sensors, 8K capabilities, and pro-grade features. GoPro Max 2 is likely to be priced more competitively, possibly between $499 and $549. If GoPro can deliver solid 8K video, good low-light performance, and high-end stabilization under $550, it could be a huge value proposition, especially for users already in the GoPro ecosystem or looking for a one-stop solution for adventure and 360 shooting. However, DJI's edge may come from perceived value rather than just the price tag. If the Osmo 360 ships with integrated software tools, log profile support, and tight integration with other DJI accessories, users may feel they're getting a broader toolkit for their money. The fight between GoPro Max 2 and DJI Osmo 360 isn't just about specs. It's about direction, innovation, and identity. GoPro is trying to return to a space it helped pioneer, hoping to redeem years of silence and missed opportunities. The Max 2 looks to be a capable, refined piece of tech, built on lessons learned from the Hero line and optimized for a broader audience beyond just extreme sports. DJI, on the other hand, is entering this market for the first time, but it's coming in hot, with a design inspired by the best in the industry and specifications that place it on equal footing with the reigning champion, Insta360. DJI's ability to offer an end-to-end -end ecosystem could very well tip the scales in its favor. If GoPro nails the Max 2's launch, offers reliable performance, and keeps the price competitive, it could win back a significant chunk of market share. But DJI's Osmo 360 looks to be more than just an Insta360 clone. It's a statement of intent. In the end, the winner will come down to execution. GoPro must deliver on its promises, while DJI needs to prove it can master 360 content as seamlessly as it has with drones. Until both cameras hit shelves and real-world performance is assessed, one thing is certain, the 360 camera war is back, and it's more exciting than ever.